Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my chicken block playthrough. And uh, I set up some auto selling stations over here. And right now we're selling dried kelp and cobblestone. Um, and then probably I can throw some more feathers in, right? Oh, I have some over here. Yeah. Here we go. But I've got, <laughs> I got a lot of coins. All right. Um, more chicken eggs can go in. Cook up some more bricks. I have no idea what I'm going to use bricks for yet, but at least I'll have them. And yeah. All right. Well, I need 25 gold coins to make a diamond coin. I've got like two diamond coins worth right now. And let's see. I do have a little bit of wood there, so I can go in there. Yeah, 1115 logs, that's not bad. That'll see me through for quite a while, I think. So I went ahead and uh, packed up my log chickens. I've got black iron chickens going now. It's kind of a shame they only do nuggets, but I have everything I need for the eight advanced components. And so, I need two... Oh, I need two of these. Dang it. Oh, all right, well. There's that. Not that. I need one more black iron ingot for the advanced table. And I need to make another one of these guys here. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I forgot about I was breeding you guys, wasn't I? Ten, ten, ten. Nice. I just need you guys to breed one more time now. And we will be good to go. And then over here, I've got a nether wart chicken, which is soul sand plus uh, red dye. So... Sweet. And I don't need you anymore. You were an extra from this breeding project over here. Four, three, four. Not bad. And then I can come over here. Cocoa beans. Just drop those in. It'll auto feed into there. You know what? It's set up just the right way that I should be able to do that without a problem. Because cobblestone, it uh, it's not bad. 16 cobblestone equals 2 iron coins. And that's something that I can just have my chickens produce without a problem. So, there we go. can go there. I might as well Let's see if there's any feathers over here. There are. Very good. Drop those in. Hey, 21 copper coins now. I haven't checked my uh, copper coin chickens yet. I'm trying to see. It's been a while since I've uh, looked in on these guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, not bad, right? Oh, man, I actually had more coins than I could... All right. Had over nine stacks of coins there, so... There we go. Yeah, I'll do that. What I should do is have these with drawers, but I can't lock right now, so... Yeah, that belt needs it definitely needs to move faster. Okay, sweet. That's four ingots worth. And I can do that. There's a couple, you know, blank slates. 
one of which I need for this table. And then, yeah, I need a block of iron too. Dang it. Uh, how's my gravel looking over here? 45. I have made uh, four iron ingots out of iron nuggets so far, so. I should probably keep all my nuggets in the same box, though. And then luminescence is, you know, a thing. There is a luminescence chicken. Which is an enchanted glowstone chicken egg. That I could probably find in the nether. The problem is... is uh, let's see. That's another ingot's worth. Uh, I don't want to set up my nether portal too close to here, because zombie pigmen are annoying, honestly. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop our gold coins off now, too. And the copper, or the gold. Iron! Iron coins. There we go. Uh, I could buy zinc now, actually. What's it? Zinc is like a dimensional chicken, isn't it? Uh, yeah. All right, well, another portal. I got to set up a ways away from everything else, so. Hopefully we have a full nether. Um, I need my arrows before I go in there. Uh, arrows, there we go. And... I should have enough of supplies here to make the advanced crafting table so we can get diamond coins as soon as we come back. I just want to get this kind of emptied out before I head out. And our millstone's actually finally caught up. Sweet. That means I can grab those and we can do that and that. And that can go there. All right, sweet. About time to do another kelp harvest as well and get that cooked up and whatnot. I really need to automate that because... I mean, kelp grows extremely fast, and they get gold coins out of it. Okay, yep. I was afraid of that. <laughs> it's a freaking void dimension. Great. Well, in that case, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, how much black iron do I have right now? I got another two ingots worth. Should probably leave those guys in there for a little bit to uh, kind of rack up my black iron. Oh, no gold that time. Dang. Well, there's uh, some glass in there and green bamboo again because... I kind of like how this looks, actually, so. Five hundred nine egg blocks. Yeah, I think I can get a good-sized platform built. Oh, missed. All right, let's see. So, quest, quest book. Going old school. Yep. And then from there, kill a ghast to release a ghast chicken. Ah, okay. And then crimson bean beam biome. Use another dimension, it can really spawn nether wart chickens on crimson alien blocks. Oh, well, I bred up another wart chicken, so I don't have to worry too much about that one. Uh, however, this is going to require crimson fungus and nylium. Sweat gel conversion. Oh, that's kind of cool. Netherrect comes in nylium. Sweet. Uh, 
Let's see. Ba -bum. Iridium, and then this unlocks Stratus after we get Gravitite. Okay. And then that is Enchanted Gravitite, which we can then use to make tools and stuff with. Yeah, I could do that stuff. It's just not much point. Um, what is... Yeah, Air Smog. I don't remember that. That is different. Alright, so we need to locate a bronze dungeon somewhere in the Aether. Okay. Yeah, only be hurt by using picket axes as a weapon. Right. But I need this to make the coal igniter. I looked it up. We need the carved stone. Actually, I had it up still. Uh, we need carved stone. Which we can stone cut sentry stone into. But it's also dropped by these little guys here. So... I think I'm good on obsidian for a while. I don't have to worry about these guys so much. So there's 63 obsidian there. Oh, I'm going to need a lot of void upgrades, though. So... Are you still not grown? What is up with this cow? And four, four, four. Eh. Not as good as it could be, but you know, it is an improvement, so I'm okay with that. Cocoa beans. Dang it. Trash those guys. You could technically have these guys sitting in a nest or sitting on top of a hopper feeding directly into these, but the feathers are a nuisance. Especially since right now uh, wooden hoppers are the way to go because they're cheap and iron's kind of a pain to get. Well, they're only a single slot, so if a feather gets in there, it just stops everything. Oh, hey, sugarcane finally processed. Nice. And we've got bamboo now. Good. You know, that's probably good enough for black iron chickens for now. Okay, well, he's going to end up in the box. That's fine. There's that. Let me grab this stuff and that and that just in case. All right, so I need eight of you. And I need one of you. And I need one of you. And then I need my golden air cloud as well, which is right here. And there we go. And I have four extra slates, and we have ten extra black iron ingots for now. So that'll work. And we have access to this now. Sweet. So I can do... Let me do... That recipe. There we go. I'm missing a stack of old coins. Uh, there you are. See, I know I got a lot more than that.
All right, we have four diamond coins. I need five. Also scrambled really. Oh, yeah, this guy. I want to craft two of these uh, eventually. Whenever I get better access to gold, I will definitely do it. Because this guy is going to require two. And we also need a sun altar. So now you can upgrade these to the, well, eventually the auto crafting tier. But we need nether stars for that. But that would be the way to process, you know, iron into gold coins. Just to have it done automatically. You don't have to worry about it. So what can I use this stuff for anyway? Sky Jade, I can use it to make tools. It's only four attack damage. Hmm. Yeah, probably not worth it, right? That's only four as well, so. By the way, bring extra picks whenever you're fighting Slider, the boss of the Labyrinth, because you don't want your, uh, your picks to break in the middle of the fight, because then you just can't do anything. You can't even punch them. It has to be a pick, and that's it. Okay, there's that. Let me grab these. I'm just going to trash can those. That goes there. You guys go in there. Oh. I ran out of room. Wow. I have all the things, right? So, shop. Um, I need one more diamond coin to buy this guy, and then that'll unlock things that I can sell for diamond coins, and hopefully there's something there that I can produce. Well, expanding my platform, and I had a creeper spawn in. You know what? Dang. Uh, apparently, uh, back here. 10% <laughs> chance, okay. Yeah, that's how we get creeper chickens. Fun times there. It's going to break my wand. There it goes. All right. Now it's raining too. Great. All right. So I just got my fifth um, diamond coin. Gives me another 10 10 10 copper coin chicken. At this point, it's seeming kind of like a moot point. Because there's other faster ways of getting coins than relying on your birds. But, you know, it's whatever, right? So I need food. Hey, more another wart. And trash. Okay. So it is like six per, right? For redstone. Okay, what do I okay? Oh, damn. Luminescence blocks, ethium, nether stars, and stratus ingots. Oh, that's unfortunate. Kelp farm it is. All right, uh, you. Nope, not you. You. Hey, cool. Ten redstone. Nice. I got 54 obsidian here. That's so much obsidian now. <laughs> Two minutes on you. Oh, hey, you're grown. All right, cool. Doesn't really matter which one I pick up. I'm going to pick up that one. All right, cool. And actually, I need to check. Right. Another word egg has nothing okay. Another word chicken does not breed. All right. Or doesn't crossbreed, I should say. Is that to that? Boom. Put those in there. Oh, the eggs. It does not take much time at all for that to fill up. Which is, I mean. Pretty good, I guess. I mean, that's what I'm building my platform out of, so. And, you know, we'll do that too, I guess. You could go in there, and then we'll do one of you, and... Pop to my inventory right as I shift-clicked. Do that. 
And I have 12 more eggs already. I could breed more of those guys too if I want the eggs to fly in faster, which I might eventually, but damn. There we go. Oh, help. No. I'm stuck. <laughs> ah, I'm so stuck. I can't jump. No, guys. Guys. You get back here. Ah. No. Little shits. Stop it. Okay. Wait a second. Do I see... You know, I thought I saw like a baby uh, couple from chicken around somewhere. I think they're hiding in there. In that one. Alright, there should be six cobblestone chickens in there now. Wait a second. <laughs> one of them's in with the bamboo. Okay. Sure, whatever. Do your thing. Let's see. More of that and more of that. And now we're getting more coins, which is always good, right? Uh, so what can I buy with diamond coins? I can buy netherite scrap for two diamond coins each. So I need eight diamond coins to get one ingot of netherite. Yay. Sometimes. Oh, one to one for emerald, though. Okay. Seven to one for diamonds. Nine to one for the that. What are you anyway? Block of experience from create. Okay. And mixed biome bean bag. Hmm. All right. Time for more kelp. All right. So we have some wheat flour here. We're washing it because there it goes. It becomes dough. Then we can combine dough with lime dye to get slime balls. And you got two wheat left in there. Okay. Cool. How are we doing over here? Yeah, it's just... Okay. You're done as well. Good. Let me put the cobblestone away. Feathers can go. Eggs can go. The dough can get washed, so I can make some bread, actually, because I'm down to one piece of fish. I did get a potato and a carrot, though, from zombies, and I finally got creeper chickens. They're uh, hiding behind there we go, the uh, the sheep here. So I went ahead and lit that all up, so nothing will spawn over there now. Let's see. And then I need glue. Iron sheet, iron nugget. Nugget. There's our iron. I can turn into a sheet. There we go. And super glue. Very good. Now I'm also going to need you. Grab some of this. I need radial chassis as well. Right, these guys. Three, you know, let me get another recipe of that. And then if I craft the, no, it's not that. The, uh, what's the other one called? Linear chassis, that's right. Okay, let me go ahead and get some more of those as well. And I'm going to need windmill sails. I can get rid of that and that. I can get rid of those and that. Okay. Sticks and a sight wool. Okay, I have some wool here. I've got more wool here. Okay, cool. Do we have a recipe for that? No. Why would we? And I just need uh, eight of these, so I only need four recipes, really. Eight is the minimum amount that you can 
I used to power a contraption with wind. It has to be at least eight of these. And it, you can turn these into frames too if you want. It, they still work the same. All right, so let me get some dirt. Need another wart. Okay. And we're going to set up a farm over here. Uh, one, two, three. Do a nine by nine, right? Two, three, four, five. Okay, I need you out of there. Seven, eight, nine. And then I am going to bucket. I want to put a block underneath that. So I need a I need my bucket so I can get some water. Time to harvest the kelp again too. This stuff goes insanely fast. I mean I love it, but I need to uh, automate it. So I don't have to worry about things. There we go, and then we'll just do that. Scoop you back up. I'll need you here in a second. We are going to put down a windmill bearing, though. Try again. Face up. Thank you. And for now, let me go ahead. Put some torches down. So what we're going to do is radial chassis. Go here. Uh, four is probably a good height. And now I'm going to take and put you here. You're going to face sideways. Of course you are. Let's get my wrench on the, the hot bar. There we go. Yep, sweet. So now if I need a slab... Do, 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 do. Slab should be over here, maybe? Nope. They're going to be over here. I need to get this sorted. I really do. Are you guys ready to breed yet? No. Yes. Thank you. And we're just going to make you go away. You are ready to breed as well. Nine, five, seven. Okay, cool. I mean, getting there. All right, and slab. Because I need to be able to access this thing. You can turn it on, and hey, look, it's going to start spinning. And the important thing is to also note which direction this is going to spin. Right now it's going clockwise. You can change the direction. We can hold to edit. You know, but eh, you don't have to. So now I'm going to put you guys here. I'm going to have three of those. Now super glue. There we go. You, can, you know what? But being a nuisance, glue. Thank you. Are you going to work? You'll work. You just look funny. Dang it. Where are you? Why are you going to be like that? There. Okay, so one thing I am going to also need for this is an inventory of some flavor. So let me grab two more of you. We'll do that. And for this, I usually prefer barrels just because it works. All right. So uh, let me grab this back out. We go. And now I've glued this barrel to this arm here. Now, radial chassis will spin with the uh, the windmill bearing. 
but you have to glue items to this radial chassis in order to get the items to spin as well. You can see how we're doing now. It's it's all working good. Now the next thing I need is called a portable storage interface. Fire shoots, which is not bad. It's, you know, three iron total for four of them. Hey, look, I have three iron. There we are. So we'll do like so. There's our shoots. And I also need andesite casings. We need two of these, by the way. Okay. I was just clicking on top of the torch there. And then shift right click and you can pick up any create block without a problem. It just, just works. Now, hmm, I'm going to do this. Let me grab this. And then wand it. There we go. Sweet. And you'll notice now it doesn't. Oh, it does grab the. Oh, dang it. Shouldn't be grabbing the glass, but it did. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Yep, nope, it's decided. So what I can do then is... Try that. Nope, still grabbing it. Well, okay, I have an easy way in and out of here right now. <laughs> For some reason the wand just couldn't do that last block. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's still fine. The glue remembers where it's at, by the way. Nope. Why you gotta be so annoying? Because this block here is glued. All right, let me... Well, here, I can take this out of here anyway. That doesn't matter. And barrel. There we go. This barrel can go literally anywhere on here. So right there will be just fine. How are you? Is it you? Is it you doing it? Did they change how this works? That might be it. Yeah, there we go. So if I put this back, now turn it on. Hey, look at that go. Okay, now I need to glue you like that. All right, sweet. And let me put this here. Yeah, it must be connected. Okay, I'll just do that. All right. And it's not taking the glass wall with it, which is the main thing I wanted to avoid. Unfortunately, there we go. Now, these things here are kind of fun. Nope. No. And the nice thing about using the wrench to pick things up is it goes straight into your inventory. So, let me come out here and we'll do that. And then we'll do that. 
Now if I turn this thing on. Nope, I gotta gotta glue it first. You notice how they reach out and touch each other? What that's gonna do is it's gonna try to take anything that's in this inventory here and push it into that interface every time they meet. Which is gonna be once per revolution. Let me out. Thank you. And for now, unfortunately, well, hmm, hmm. there's other options, but. You go away. Uh, I think this is just going to be our best bet for right now. Come on. There we go. We'll do that we'll do this and if I was to put say some dirt in here you'll notice it's taking a while there it goes and now it's moving turn this off we'll notice the dirt's not in here anymore the dirt is now here the reason why it took a while is because of how slow that wooden hopper is So next bit, I need to flood this area. Mm, because this armature is in the way. glass that way we actually have a connected texture for glass which is something that yeah I really enjoy and it should definitely be in the base game kelp in here everything's good except for one problem i need something called the mechanical plow this guy takes three iron ingots per oh by the way do not punch the um the creeper chickens it does not end well. They they explode. Found that one out the hard way. Blew a hole right in my base. All right. Go ahead and grab that out. So I need iron, which means I need coinage. I need seven coins per. Well, that'll give me four anyway. Uh, iron would be cobblestone, right? Oh, I haven't checked on this in a while. Oh, yeah, it's all backed up. Okay. Doesn't help that I only did a single chest, so. And cobblestone. There we go. Didn't back up that badly. I need probably three plows. This can be nine ingots of iron. I've got four, so I mean, I'm gonna start going. I uh, know, not there. Here, there we go. Hmm. 
All right, so I have my plows done. And so they're going to go one, two, three. And then we're going to go hue. There. So now if I turn this thing on, it's going to slowly start revolving. I just harvested my kelp farm. Grab some air. Oh no, I cooped. <laughs> Badly. The plows need to go up a block. Okay, so don't bother planting in these corners here. It won't reach. Okay. That is something else I needed to know. And it can't grab right next to this either. Okay. Okay, well, let me grab my super glue again so I can actually see, you know, what's glued. We'll break that out. And then we'll just grab one, two, three. Do one, two. No, jerk. I put all my planks away, too. You need to go there. That way I have something to place against. There we go. And right now it's moving all the kelp that it did pick up over, which is going to take a while. I should have emptied that out first. All right, and so don't plant there because it's not going to help at all. And then don't plant in the corners because it just can't reach. If you want this thing to go faster, you can just uh, tack on more windmill cells as well. But it's, it's a passive farm. You don't really need it to go past. Hey, look at that. And it just took off the top bit. And grab that out of there. I love how the, the aether trees shed leaves every once in a while. And then our interfaces are going to hook up here in a second. Going to give a little kiss like that. And there we go. And for kelp per revolution. I mean, it's not, or for the first revolution anyway. Not bad. But now this thing will just run. And it will not break unless you right click on that windmill bearing at the bottom. In which case, it'll revert back to where it was, you know, where I placed the blocks into the world, and that's going to break all the kelp in that area. Nothing can be done about that, though. All right, and there we go. I got bread now. Oh, yep, that happened again, didn't it? Oh, yeah, it did. I need to do something with the sand in there, too. I mean, the first thing I could do that'll help is just let's make it a double chest. Why didn't you go to my hot bar? we go. I mean, much better, right? Yeah, that's three more recipes worth of coins there. Uh, but yeah, I've got a lot of sand now, which is eh, honestly not bad. Alright, let me do that and get some more clay going. Feathers, I'm just going to delete. I'll do that.
But I think I am going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, in the future... Hey, look, we got eight more kelp already. Sweet. I am going to have this thing auto smelt and then compact the kelp horse and then feed it directly into a task screen on its own. So that way I just don't have to worry about, you know, doing anything with it. Also, I need that. Uh, do I? I don't have any kelp blocks left. Okay. There go. There's eight more. I need to speed this belt up. Actually, I need to move these guys and get into a better situation. Because now I can buy these. They're kind of expensive, but... I need one for this guy. The linking tool. That'll link the drawers to the controller. Otherwise, the controller does basically nothing for me. Then there's the configuration tool, which requires an emerald. Emeralds are cheap, so that's pretty, pretty good there. I need eight diamond coins, though. So that's going to take a little bit to uh, to get saved up. Well, normally it would, but uh, I kind of got 10 already, so. There we go. Now I just also need gold. Gold ingots, which I have three nuggets, so... Aren't you done yet? No. Hmm. There we go. Now you're done. Yeah, I get about one to one and a half um, recipes per harvest, so. And we get, you know, two gold coins per, uh, per turn in, so. It's honestly not bad. Uh, I have seven gold coins right now. I need, yeah. yeah. I need four total, so I need 28 gold coins. Oh, look. I have enough. All right, you can do that, and we will do that. Sweet. So I can actually get a storage system set up now with drawers. Sweet. And drawers in this pack are pretty cheap, if you don't mind using oak drawers. Um, actually, I was already there. So, oak drawers is either a chest surrounded by planks or just a chest, right? Now, like a spruce drawer, though, that's a chest surrounded by spruce planks. So, if you want something, you know, different, it's going to cost you twice as much. So, not much you can do about it, though. That's just the way it's set up. Oh my god, my inventory is a mess again. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.